hello hello as you can see by the title i'm going to be doing a video going down memory lane i thought it would be a great idea to revisit some of the images that i've taken throughout my photography journey um now i believe i do have some of the some of the dates to these images um, but for the most part, um, most of these images are from 2014 up until 2017. And then at the end of the video, I did ask Instagram some questions regarding my photography journey. And I'll just answer those towards the end. So yeah, let's get into the video. So this first picture here is of Tamaris Edie. Um, this is our first shoot together. This was in 2017. And at this time, like I was reaching out to different people to see if they would possibly want to collaborate. Most of the images that you're about to see, I did not personally style them. They, I told them what I was looking for and they showed up and showed out, okay? So this picture of Tamaris Edie here, um, this is uh, 70s inspired. Um, I did, uh, gave her, I gave her this jacket to, you know, photograph in. Um, yeah. Uh, would I change anything about this image? Not really. The I feel like there's only maybe three things that I would change that I would do differently now. Um, you see this truck behind her. I would possibly try to shoot somewhere else that didn't have like a truck. Like I wouldn't have mind if it was like a car in the seventies, but it kind of ruins the picture in my opinion. Could I get away with this today? Possibly so. Um, number two, I um, washed out her skin tone. Um, I was using Photoscape at the time and they had like different like filters that you could like add on the photo. I was not doing any Photoshop in any of these photos, just letting y'all know. Um, I used Photoscape during this time because I, I do about Photoshop, but I wasn't, I wasn't like, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, so, you, so yeah, I would bring back um, her skin tone as well as uh, the logo here. I would definitely not put a logo in my images. Uh, I guess at the time I was worried that somebody would steal my work. I don't know why. Hold on, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I don't know why. Like I was, I was doing that, but yeah, on to the next image. This picture here is of Braylon Alexander. Um, this is actually one of the first shoots I've ever done in my photography career, but I was still in school at the time and um, we would get free like studio time. Like you had to take a certain class in order to start like using the studio. So. Um, I guess once I finished that class, I was like, okay, let me see what I can do like in studio. Um, the inspiration behind the styling, I was very into Tumblr at this time. So that's what, like the look that we were going for. Um, excuse me, yeah. Um, would I change anything about this image? Again, I don't, personally, I don't see anything wrong with this image. However, I don't like how I cut out um, his wrist there on the, that's the right side. Um, I cut that off. Um, I probably would not cut off limbs um, in the photo, um, but it's nonetheless, it's still not like a bad image. Um, on the right side, his face is very, it's not as blown out, but it is pretty blown out. And there's, uh, 
like I would probably light it correctly. Um, I do have the raws for like most of his photos, so I'm probably gonna do um like a you know like a revamp of like how I would edit it now versus like how I edit it like right here. Um, again, I was not using Photoshop. I was using Photoscape. I believe I was only using one light in this image. This third image here is of one of my managers. Um, I used to work at Forever 21 and uh, the lady to my right, I don't know if it's showing, maybe it's like, I don't know how it's gonna show up on here. But to my right, the lady, um, she was my manager for 21. She was just getting engaged. So she wanted to do, um, you know, an engagement shoot with her fiance at the time. Um, again, like I got this off Tumblr. I saw this photo on Tumblr. It spells out L-O-V-E. Um, could this picture work today? Yes. The only thing that I would change is the cropping of it, I would add more, a little bit more space at the top and on the sides, just a little bit. Cause I feel like it's so like, you know, like this, it's like, they can't really breathe. But that's just my personal uh, preference. Uh, and I would probably edit their skin a little bit different. There's nothing particularly wrong with their skin here, but it looks a little bit yellow. So I'll probably change that a little bit more. This photo is of Gigi. Hi, Gigi. I hope you're watching this video. Or maybe you'll see it. I don't know. Um, I took this photo of Gigi. I believe we were doing a project at the time. This is like when we were like getting into studio. Um and we were learning about like the different lighting setups here. I think I only I feel like I have a a no, I don't. I feel like I only have one light and it's only on the side there. I don't remember, but I know it's like, as you can see, it's only one light. Um, would I change anything about this image? No, it could, it could work now. Um, but I would probably, um, properly expose it a little bit better. Um, because you cannot see the left side of her face like at all now it can work like if you're looking at it from a artistic perspective then there is literally nothing wrong with this image again i would probably um just crop it a little bit more and light it a little bit better so this picture here is of taylor curvey um, I believe this is like, this is my first time meeting Taylor. I don't know what year this was. I think this, this had to be like 2016, 2017. Um, the previous photo that I showed of Gigi is 2015. Um, so yeah, this picture of, um, Taylor here. I don't know, like the theme it was Taylor, Jakara and Cameron. Um, this was Cameron's shoot. I believe he still does makeup. I'm not too sure about that and styling. Um, I'm not too sure about that either, but this was his um, look and I was just, you know, like the photographer there to capture the photo. But um, would I change anything about this photo? The only thing I don't really like is her uh, feet, like the sunlight. Um, but that's something you can't really um, change, you know, your outside and sun. Um, but maybe I would go to a fully shaded area that way, um, because her feet are very overexposed, but I could really just, you know, crop it in and you would never know. Um, of course I would light it correctly again. Um, I don't think for any of these images, I did not, like I said, I was not in Photoshop. I wasn't doing the hair, the skin. I was solely just adding a filter on her. And then, well, this, I think this is a raw image. I don't have the edits of these anymore, unfortunately, but I do have the raws of them. Um, 
yeah i do love this image still this image could work today so this picture is of estella taylor um this was in 2014 um i had to do a lot of projects so um estella and marvin and my sister dominique were like my top three like models for my projects because at the time i did not have a car to really go anywhere but me and estella we would get on the metro bus and go downtown um will i change anything about this photo again like i feel like i had a huge cropping issue here um there's nothing wrong with this photo like uh could this photo work today i believe yes but how i edit it mm, i don't really care for it because she looks very green and i feel like um maybe you know i could have kept her like actual skin tone like just made it uh, a little bit more rich in color and this photo could have you know worked better but there's literally nothing wrong I, the only thing i would change is the cropping and the color grading of the photo all right so this picture is of aaron i used to work with her at forever 21 um this picture is uh, in 2015 um would I change anything about this photo I don't I feel like there's literally nothing wrong with it except I probably would have her pose differently like with the like with her sweater I probably wouldn't have her you know do that I probably would have her you know maybe have her hands on her hip and the other arm like on her, the foot that's kicked up and I would bring the foot a little bit down because it's going like inward. So I would fix that definitely. Um, is there anything wrong with the color grading? No, this could easily work today. Um, again, like this is very like Tumblr, like this is 2015. So yeah, I was very heavily inspired. <laughs> like I'm, I was heavily inspired by Tumblr. I told them to dress retro whatever that means this next picture here this had to be 2014 yeah this was 2014 um and like what i was going for was um like a girl who feels trapped this is very depressing but at the time i felt very trapped because um i wasn't really going anywhere like i didn't have a car i was always um in the house to myself and uh just to give a little bit of like more backstory my dad had passed away in june of 2014 so i believe you know like in december that was six months since his passing like it was like starting to hit me a little bit more because like I said, I didn't have a job. Um, I wasn't, you know, doing shoots and stuff like that. And I couldn't really go anywhere. I didn't have anybody to photograph. So I had to use myself for this project and make it work, I guess. I don't really care for this um, image like that. It doesn't really, I mean, I don't know. I just, I had to, that's all I had. So I guess it's good for what I had, uh, but I would definitely um, photograph it differently now. And yeah, I would just do everything differently. But at the time, like I was such in a, I guess a little bit of a dark place that I was just doing anything to get a grade. <laughs> and what's funny about this is that people actually laughed at me um, with this project I remember it people laughed at me not even knowing like what I was going through and I think I ended up crying as well they didn't understand like why I was crying and stuff like that like they just didn't understand but I I did but nonetheless anyway we're that was literally a decade ago so let's move forward yeah and this image is um in 2014 as well this like i said i used to use marvin 
my sister and Estella a lot during this time because, um, and my neighborhood a lot because that's literally all I had. Um, I don't really know what, what was the look for this, but I mean, it's like not a bad image, but I would probably crop it a little bit better and maybe like, I don't think at the time I could blur it out, like the background, you know, like using um, my f-stop correctly. Um, I would probably do that a little bit better, but, and I would crop it, of course. It's all about cropping, you guys. I don't really have much to say about that image, if I'm being honest, but yeah, shout out to Marvin for being like, for being one of my first models ever. I appreciate you, thank you. Mwah. This next image here is, again, of Estella. Let me see when this image was. This was um, 2014 as well. Um, I don't think there was a particular theme with her. I think I did have to tell like a story. I don't remember the story. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember the story, but this was like one of my uh, photographic design classes. So you kind of had to uh, like tell a story through images. Um, could this image work today? Yes, but again, like cropping. I feel like if I would have cropped it, like cropped it towards like, like closer to her face, um, it would probably look 10 times better because of, you know, like the leaves and stuff that's going across there. We can get into the question segment here. First question, um, how was your first photo shoot ever? And I wanna speak about this photo right here. Um, this photo is of Isaiah B. Um, they were one of the first models that I reached out to. Um, outside of like i think at this time i was not going to school i decided to um, stop going to school and i had booked the studio downtown in downtown houston it used to be kind of near i don't know if the spaghetti warehouse is still there or not but um yeah and i remember first photographing a stella there in preparation of uh this shoot here with isaiah um i don't really know like the look that we were going for again at the time you know i was very uh into tumblr um i believe that's where i found them i'm not really too sure but i know that i did follow them on instagram um so yeah and i got the courage to you know reach out to them and said, hey, you know, like, let's collaborate, basically. Um, I do have other photos of them, but I don't know if I, I can't really find them if I'm being completely honest. Um, I tried to go on Tumblr. I can't find like any images, but um, I do have this one here. Um, and what's like so crazy, um, they reach out to me recently on Tumblr um, I just started getting back on there and I saw that I got a message from a message from them and um, I'll put it right here. Um, I believe it just consisted of like just thanking me for basically believing in them. I guess I was like the first one of the first photographers to, you know, work with them. And I don't know, like that's very mind blowing to me because I never knew like the impact that I had at the time. Um, I was literally kind of just having fun. I wasn't thinking about, you know, like the things that we have to think about now, um, you know, like marketing behind the scene type. I be, well, I, I believe marketing always existed, but I just feel like, um, it was more of a fun thing for me. I was not thinking about being a business owner. Um, I probably was a business owner, just didn't realize it at the time. I was an entrepreneur, didn't even realize that I was just doing it because that's simply something that I just wanted to do. Like when I read the message, it really came at the right time because I was just thinking about how like 
again, I, I believe I stated this like in the beginning of the video, how I thought that I was literally doing nothing, had no type of impact when in actuality, like I did. I just didn't realize it at the time. What is it that you're most grateful for in your experience as a photographer? I would say, um, even though like I've been doing photography for a decade now, I am thankful that I'm allowed to, I don't know how to like put it into words, but be able to learn things at like a slower pace. Like, I don't know if, if I'm making any sense uh, I'm, I was able to learn things at a slower pace and just let things gradually like happen for me. And cause I know like nowadays everybody wants, you know, this quick success, including myself. Um, and I'm still, you know, dealing with that, you know, um, but I'm grateful that I'm allowed to really experience it. They just jump into it and I was like, this, 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 this. Marketing, influencer, like, type thing. Um, and I'm just grateful that I'm able to go at, like, my own pace and just learn things as I go. Uh, meet people as I go um, recently like in December I didn't know who this person was I actually thought that it was like a scam um, but he ended up booking me for headshots and then towards the end of the session I was like how did you find me because I was just so curious and so he was saying how he actually found me on Facebook and he was scrolling through like several pages and he came amongst me and he chose me because of what he saw like displayed, you know, like on my page and how I was different from everybody else. I don't know, it was kind of like confirmation for me. Like the things that he was saying to me, it was like more of a confirmation. And as I'm talking, I'll like showcase um, like images, like fashion shows that I've done, just things that I've done like throughout my career that I really thought like, I know I keep repeating this but I literally thought that I was doing nothing like I had no impact on like anybody you know and I realized that I really started taking off you know like in 20 like from 2015 to 2017 I was really in my bag and I really I just didn't notice I wasn't I, it wasn't clicking for me because I was just having fun last question what type of photography are you most sought out for um as of now i feel like i'm definitely heading into a different direction of photography i thought i wanted to do this type of photography and i feel like um god is calling me to do more other stuff I don't really want to speak on it because I feel like I don't want nobody to um tarnish you know what I'm currently working on um what I can say is that I guess it's more community-based con conceptual type photography um I feel like I that's where I'm heading now all right, guys, um, I'm hoping that you genuinely enjoyed this video. Sorry if it's long. I'm hoping that you stuck around until the end. Um, until next time. Bye.